Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today in Anne Academy's graphic design webinar. I am Shubhangi of the Branding and Communications team, and I will be your host tonight. And this webinar is led by our course lead for graphic design, Nidhi Sharma. Um, before we dive right into the presentation, uh, I would like to talk a little bit about what AND is and what is it that we do and why do we do it and how do we do it. So AND Academy is a one of a kind design upskilling platform launched by the Indian Institute of Art and Design, New Delhi, which is a brick and mortar design school in New Delhi. Uh, so AND actually comes from a, a decade of uh, imparting design education. Um, we offer professional design courses for graduates and working professionals from varied backgrounds. Uh, so it is not important for us that you have prior uh, education in design or you come from design education. People from all backgrounds join us in uh, all of our courses uh, because our courses are sort of designed in a way that they begin from the fundamentals of design and incrementally you build your uh, expertise. Our courses are delivered in live and interactive uh, sessions, which uh, sort of steer away from the traditional models of learning uh, for optimizing for accessibility and convenience to let you learn and work together. Um, so most of our courses are part-time courses and they're designed in a way that you can also pursue your uh, job and or education uh, and also learn design. Uh, we combine expert mentorship, uh, practical training, and industry exposure so as to um, emulate an environment that is, uh, which is almost studio-like and you become industry ready and you can hit the ground running. Our courses are also stackable. So you can begin from a certificate and go on to do a diploma and further go on to do a PG diploma. Uh, you every step uh, of the way you decide if you want to go further or not. Uh, and our fee schedule is also designed that way. Um, today, this uh, webinar is led by Nidhi Sharma, who's our course lead for part-time courses at Land Academy. Uh, before I hand it over to uh, Nidhi, I would like to introduce her. Nidhi is a skilled visual designer whose inclination towards employing a research-oriented approach to design led her to work closely with Kushnu Pantakiho and Professor B.V. Doshi at Sangat. She's an alumna of Malvia National Institute of Technology, Jaipur, and University of Illinois, Chicago. She's also worked as a research assistant at University of Illinois and completed a UX design internship at the Terra Foundation for American Art. Uh, sorry. Um, so yeah, with that, I hand it over to Nidhi. Nidhi, please take over. Thank you, Shubhangi, for that warm introduction. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, so um, as Shubhangi has also already mentioned, I'm Nidhi, and I hope I'm audible. I have a little sore throat, but I think uh, I'm I'm good, uh, particularly from the last week. All right, so welcome to the AND graphic design webinar. Uh, this is your first step towards the vibrant community of designers, students, thinkers, educators here at AND. Um, and as Shubhangi pointed, I am the course lead for the graphic design part-time course. Uh, and I will we'll explore more in terms of the offerings. Um, so what we are covering today in the webinar um, we are introducing you to the underpinning of learning uh, design online with us. Um, and this includes what is graphic design, so what we mean by that, uh, what are the industry opportunities for you, uh, what have, has the student, uh, a large body of student work that has been done in the past, a showcase of that, um, the course offering at AND, uh, graphic design part-time, graphic design full-time. And then we'll close today's session with a round of question and answer. Um, so, <clears throat> so the uh, first- I'm sorry to be butting in, but Nidhi, since you have mentioned the Q&A session, uh, we'll be taking the questions uh, at the end of the session. And <clears throat> I request you to put your questions in the Q&A box and not in the chat box. 
uh yeah sorry just just wanted to remind you of that yeah that's a good thing that's a good hygiene check before yeah. we start uh so yeah don't uh ask your question in the chat use a, a dedicated space here with the link provided and i think we're all good to go and we'll all take your questions at the end of this presentation so hang in there with your questions uh also a general reminder if you are making notes it will be good to you know pay attention to the presentation <clears throat> so uh the first level of the question is what is graphic design but before we address that uh, we have a elephant in the room where we say the first strong step of our student specifically in and uh, in the ever changing field of design is to focus on building a solid base for your visual design rather than teaching you simply software so our aim is to introduce and teach you the fundamentals of graphic design and in that spirit we start with the very foundational topic of visual design <clears throat> thereby knowing the software helps you in representing a creative idea uh, but the knowledge of these foundational topic be it typography color theory grid systems uh, will help you scale your ideas and make them uniquely effective yes <laughs> hence as a potential and learner um, that distinction between learning graphic design and knowing a software like illustrator or operating on ai is necessary but graphic design takes leads here <clears throat> moving on as a follow up to this there are multiple ways of defining graphic design uh, but take a minute to observe what is happening in this animation <laughs> so being either a student of design or a designer itself takes you to different places and you get to wear many hats as shown in the uh, in the visual here but one hat fits all is not how we approach uh, design in and uh, so designing is not entirely about beauty or making things pretty uh, that's just one layer of it uh it is pretty and functional it is functional and pleasing it is pleasing and humane so that's a lot of and and things that make graphic design or visual design appealing to a lot of people uh so to stretch this journey to learn design a bit further are the different roles that as a designer potential designer or someone who's learning graphic design with us uh, gets to uh, be in or enact so you could start from being a researcher asking the key question deciphering what why how uh, as a thinker you're thinking about a lot of ideas concept problems solutions you're putting all that uh, brain matter into planning something as a planner so this will move the needle from your inquisitiveness to you being a creator so you're sketching a lot you're thinking about you're running multiple cycles of creating something um eventually you will start improving it uh, and as an, a learner as a learner you will start working on refining those ideas so an active learner bridges it all someone who's constantly seeking and growing and the constant learner is a favorite of and so graphic design will require you to be a multitasker just be mindful of that so just to put everything in a summary what is graphic design graphic design is an iterative discipline that is about planning and communicating and innovating where ideas experiences and message become visible are expressed through visual uh means mostly mostly visual means and we'll show you through our student work how we, what we we are saying when we are saying visual uh so and plus because it's an ever evolving discipline uh, it's a it's a large monster in in contemporary times so new adject adjectives will describe the discipline all right so <clears throat> let's look at uh, the opportunities uh, as a graphic designer so um, as a graphic designer or aspiring to learn graphic design these are some of the roles that the industry uh, is constantly seeking uh, from those who are in the field uh, so you can be a part of a brand identity project where you get to design collaterals for a company or a campaign or communicate for a brand within the context of a theme or a purpose as a brand communication designer uh, as a social media designer you can be a digital artist or help 
a social media influencer to create wonderful graphical stories for their brand. Uh, you are designing for brands, you're designing for people, you're designing for communities. The scale of the project will keep getting bigger with your understanding of the subject. Uh, with print and publication, you can work with publication houses or with a book designer, uh, simply harnessing basically the skill to organize information, right? At the end of the day, it's about organizing information effectively uh, in creating either a brochure for a city museum or even an invite for an award event. Um, and I think last layer to that is of a motion designer. So with the skills of being a motion graphics, uh, what you do is you add this additional layer of creating 3D out of the 2D, uh, Again, exciting ways to tell stories in motion. Uh, so companies are constantly looking for visual thinkers uh, who can communicate through design and the possibilities in graphic design are endless. <clears throat> and those of those list, that list was basically those uh, premise through which you can explore your skills. All right. So now is an exciting uh, space. Uh, it's the work of our students. Uh, so one bit at a time I'll share with you. Um, these students either are currently a part of the course uh, or they are, sorry about that, uh, or they are working in a studio environment. So just give me a second. <clears throat> Okay, so we'll start with the first project, which is the first project for both full-time and the part-time students. Uh, this particular project, the module starts with understanding typography, uh, the fundamentals of uh, principles and fundamentals of graphic design. Uh, here, what the student has done in this particular project is picked a word, groovy, and then explored uh, the way they wanted to channel that word into creating visual composition. As I said, visually, majorly visual creation is what we are aiming for. So here the word Yukta chose, uh, Yukta is from batch four, uh, graphic design part-time. She picked the word groovy and she wanted to create a music event. Um, and with messy ideation, this is the stage where which we call messy ideation. She started digitizing her ideas. <coughs> She has also written certain notes. So please look at the notes as well, because it's good to think um, while you're creating these designs. So with the word groovy, she wanted to emphasize on vintage vibe. Uh, so you'll also look at the follow-up uh, of her color choices, the way she, the color palette sort of emerges about that style that she wanted to uh, visually represent in her composition. So here she's created these few ideas and um, from here she started exploring certain colors with each of these ideas. Um, each iteration here becomes a distinct visual. Uh, and then after a round of feedback from her mentors, her instructor for this particular project, she picked this as an example. But uh, one of the features of the courses and of graphic design is there is never a full stop. So uh, after the module was over, after six weeks, the student went back to her drawing board and she started recreating the groove uh, into groovy. And uh, again, she went back to understanding that the type, which is basically groovy, the word is the hero of the poster. So it's the image. So she started working in creating the visual effect for this. And here by simply using a neutral color, uh, a pop of color for groovy, a very minimal style, she uh, sort of refined this idea into this one. So here is her final poster for groovy. Um, again, you're looking at a lot of uh, subtopics, not just typography as your main topic in the poster. And I think she's still working on this, uh, but yeah, that's the nature of the beast. Um, okay. Next up, we have a, a brochure design project. So the second project in a part-time course, even in the full-time course, is to design a brochure. It's a print project. So here, our student from batch two, Sreya, she designed a brochure for a monument, uh, an architectural marvel, uh, 
in the spirit of uh, creating awareness and for tourist purpose. So here with this particular brochure, uh, uh, let me just, yeah. So you look at the way her focus, the research piece was about the Buddhist aspect as well as the architectural uh, structure of Sachi Stupa. Uh, while she was looking at the built uh, structure, the space, she was also sketching these ideas which she could then take on uh, to her brochure design. Uh, this effectively can be seen in the layout, the font, the color choices. Again, it is organization of information. Uh, also a very effective mean to bring together the topic of Sachi Stupa, the architectural marvel, the tourist aspect of the site and uh, a lot of text type setting, other subtopics as I spoke about, uh, the, the reason why a certain font works for this brochure for Sanchi Stupa, a certain color palette that works for Sanchi Stupa. So thinking through that, uh, another thing that I would request all of you to observe is the medium itself. So here the student is not just designing the brochure in itself, but also the way information is curated on Behance. Uh, so please be, uh, I think it's a teaching moment for me. So uh, yeah, looking at how the back and the front brochure sort of unfolds uh, the topic Sanchi Stupa. Um, the way the title of that particular brochure opens for a paragraph about the topic um, the, in this feature spread, um, the positioning, the layout, the grid, all of that is something that's happening in the back end in the mind of a designer while they're creating uh, a brochure. This is the photo spread and that's the project. <coughs> The third project in uh, the term one in the uh, part-time graphic design is the studying of a brand on social media and sort of imitating their brand identity to somewhat create a social media post for them. So in this case, Harshita, a student uh, from batch three, uh, picked this brand Slurp Farm, very popular among young parents. And she started studying the brand on their social media profile. Uh, so she started with looking at um, the way the brand uses a co certain color, certain theme, certain mood uh, on the social media platform, Instagram. And then she started mapping it uh, in her research. With each insight that she was sort of layering for her project, she started uh, collating what kind of color would she want to use for her visuals? Uh, what kind of font will go uh, along with what she was trying to create visually? Um, again, smaller notes for herself so that she can remind that there is a process, there is a flow um, to the project. This is again the messy ideation when the student is sketching certain ideas of creating an announcement post um, for the brand. <coughs> and uh, these are few of the iterations she created for uh, Slurp Farm's Instagram page. Um, and moving on, she created one final post. So also the reason of why, why is really important when you are a student of design, why you choose one idea versus the other. In her case, she wanted to bring attention to the packaging, to the way uh, this product was being sold uh, and how it aligns with the brand's own personality. Uh, so yeah, Moving to the second part of this module, uh, the student, once they've designed the announcement post, were to design an, uh, a carousel post, uh, a moving image. So here, elaborating a little further to her topic of uh, creating a porridge for, uh, for ch young children, uh, she started thinking about good habits for children, uh, memory building for children. So here she's created a, a carousel post on the same line. <clears throat> this was her second idea. Um, in the first idea, it became a little further away from the brand that she studied and bringing it back to home by using similar color palette and text and everything. She brought this as the final uh, design for her project. <laughs> Another part to our course and structure of learning uh, online with us is these small little subtopics as I spoke in the presentation. So here, a student, Mariambi, uh, from batch five, um, uh, chose to design um, 
certain abstract composition just by learning about color. So here, she after the session on color theory, how do you generate a palette? She created abstract composition using three prime colors. Uh, so she picked two complementary colors uh, and then she started creating abstract compositions. Uh, again, very digital, but... Uh, thinking about a topic and then implementing those lessons on your visuals. Now moving on to some projects done by our uh, full-time uh, batch. So here, uh, Smriti's project on brand identity is about studying an existing brand, which is Ruapsa, and then uh, sort of extending that brand into a, a, a newer theme, uh, a newer brand. Um, here with this particular project, uh, Smriti picked Ruabsa, a very popular beverage uh, in the Indian household, and then started studying what the brand was doing in the market. Uh, so after her research of mapping the brand, she started picking up certain things for her own brand that she wanted to create, like a sub-brand to the brand. Uh, here, the intent for the project was to create eatery uh, or cafeterias uh, with Ruabsa as the theme. Uh, focusing on beverages, specifically beverages. So uh, keeping certain mood, which was again found in Ruabza, uh, bringing something unique uh, by establishing a certain color palette, color choice, uh, the type that she was following. So she asked these key questions uh, and sort of establish what she was doing, where she was going with the project. Uh, why a certain fragrance of rose is so important to not just Ruabza, but to this brand as well that she was thinking. And <clears throat> how would she implement the, those uh, those research components, insights here with the project? <coughs> Sorry. So here the student uh, sort of mapped all her research again in a very creative way. Again, how do you blend all that that you've understood in your research for a brand and then create your own brand? Um, again, an important brand, uh, part of studying brand is customer segmentation, um, looking at personas that will fit for the brand and then creating visuals. So visuals come after a long process of understanding the brand. And here you can see her diary, which is not just note taking, but also visual capturing. Um, with uh, developing certain ideas. So here she had three ideas, vintage, quaint, and playful. And then she picked one of those, which would preferably be moving ahead into her final outcome. Uh, so just rushing into the final outcome. So she started creating a retro feel to the brand, the brand that she was creating under the bigger brand, Ruabsa. Uh, so this was the primary logo for Rubaru. Then she created secondary logos for that could be applied to the other collaterals. Uh, here she created brand marks. Um, then she's thinking about color palette. Uh, and then where can this logo be applied eventually? Uh, so as a designer, you're always thinking about type, color, and the application of what you design. So here she's created patterns and the final outcome as part of the brand identity project. <clears throat> Moving on, uh, again, as a layer to creating a brand from bigger brand, uh, a sub brand almost, uh, Chandani, a student from our uh, full time batch, uh, thought of a brand, a unique brand that fits into catering uh, comfort food. Uh, again, eatery, but in a different way. Uh, here, the student was creating a campaign for this brand that she was thinking about and creating a social media narrative around it. So here with the brand, after understanding what the brand is, uh, which is basically a cash wellness focused casual dining restaurant, she wanted to create a, a visual 360 degree about the brand. Um, so you'll see that these are the particular words she wanted to uh, create that feel and mood for. Uh, the concept was how do you bring the contemporary youthful appeal of this brand on social media, uh, looking at micro trends, visual elements, competitors, target audience in her research part, and then looking at uh, how can she then bring all the visual aspect from color to elements to type, uh, into the visuals. So this is one of the Instagram narratives she developed for the Snug brand. Um, 
Here, there is this carousel again. <laughs> Multiple ways to create announcement on social media, Instagram preferably, and then creating simple reel of, um, again, blending uh, picture, use of composition in terms of text, how the text sort of rotates around the picture. Uh, the second to that is these interesting bowl. So you almost feel like you're invited to have this uh, uh a rock and bowl. So also creating copy uh, with each of these iteration. Um, <laughs> all right. So moving on to uh, one of an interesting project that happens in the PG uh, diploma um, is the motion graphics. So here fame, a student uh, again from the full time uh, started working towards looking at a particular movie that she wanted to create animation from. It's a micro animation, but uh, the the whole motion poster that she wanted to create was based on the favorite movie and favorite clips. Again, looking at her process, uh, she picked the poster. She th thought of these three movies initially, out of which she selected Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, again, looking at the movie, then picking up pieces uh, that would become a part of her uh, storyboard. She looked at inspiration for her scenes. Uh, she marked those uh, particular scene and then created a storyboard out of it. Again, you keep going back to your you know sketching board and you keep going back to your digital spaces uh, as a designer that keeps happening within your course. Um, here, after her messy ideations and sketching of those, those scenes that she wanted to sort of highlight in this, uh, she's looking at now the, uh, the visual aspects. So she started drawing them digitally. And after the storyboard and everything was sort of uh, collated, <coughs> here is the... And let me, so let me... So that's the motion uh, poster that she fame created. Another part of fame's project is this um, campaign design that she did uh, for Pepsi in mind uh, and the objective was to create like a like Pepsi as the pop uh, culture trendsetter and to also bring in appeal of newer generation for the brand uh, and then looking at uh, in her process she started looking at what are the uh, the target audience, where the target audience is uh, mapping that in her research and then looking at what they need, what they require when it comes to visual, what, when it comes to brands. Uh, the, the brand uh, within the campaign, she started thinking about the pulse as a feature for the campaign design. And then she started also looking at pictures, images become a real part of when you're strategizing for a campaign. So here, Pop the Cap became a campaign, a statement for the uh, for the student in her project. Uh, and then <clears throat> it was to bring the youth to the particular brand. Um, so this is again a, a motion graphic that she generated for the particular brand, for the campaign, Pop the Cap uh, with Pepsi. Um, and how do you provide Again, as, a, as I said, 360 degree to this uh, multi-platform campaign. Uh, so here, <clears throat> the digital layouts were designed, uh, packaging uh, from social media to what it will look on the packaging of uh, the existing collaterals uh, versus how will, it, how will the virtual space, the digital space will look. So the social media posts, um, then looking at certain banners, urban spaces, which would occupy these visuals, um, standees, uh, and then looking at how they will run on different uh, screens, digital screens, um, the packaging, uh, and then moving on the 360, 3D billboard. So the large component was to bring this idea of bringing it 
to urban spaces? How do you project the campaign to a larger audience? So this was one project done by our student fame. <clears throat> With that, I think uh, we are we we are done showing you uh, the work of our uh, amazing student. And as uh, and I think we've we've spoken a lot in terms of uh, think about design and think about how our students have sort of understood design and applied it in these projects. Uh, but just as a reminder, as a recall of what we have done up till now by understanding what is graphic design, the roles that you will be applying and the kind of work that you'll do. Uh, just as a reminder to all of that, uh, when you learn graphic design with Ant Academy, uh, here at Ant Academy, design involves, because design involves creative and strategy thinking, just knowing working on a software is not going to be enough. So our focus is to teach you design before we teach you software. Uh, we teach you beyond software. Uh, this happens by when we start with the fundamentals. So building a stronger base for our students. So the foundational topic become really important and critical here. The grid, the type setting, the color choices, all of that. Uh, Another piece to that is learning design by doing. So this happens through active guidance, through live mentoring. So that's why our classes that happen, they happen in a live space um, on via internet, but on a live screen, right? Uh, this also includes uh, interactive sessions. Uh, you will have a lot of peer sharing, a lot of mentor and peer sharing um, feedback system which is very robust in, ter in terms of providing you support, in terms of providing you facilitation of certain ideas through humans like us, like Shabhangi and myself. Um, then there is another piece to this, something that Shubhangi mentioned in the introduction was the choice of stackable courses, uh, which allow our students to reboot their journey of learning graphic design. So at any given point, uh, we've created multiple exit points if life, life takes over. Um, other piece to this is you start learning graphic design and you can then move into UX UI. So first you start with the 16 weeks of foundation and then you can move into UX UI and other attributes. Um, <clears throat> another feature to this is the career development team. So we have embedded the career development for our students within the teaching space. So that also reorient you into building a professional profile. <clears throat> Along this, uh, there is this dedicated team that will help you in placement related queries. So in the session, uh, if you have questions like, will I get placed? Yes, you will, but you have, there are certain parameters for that. <clears throat> All right. So uh, now we'll move in terms of the courses that we were talking about. How can you approach your learning graphic design at hand? So our courses allow a learner to either opt for a full-time learning experience or commit to a short-time part-time part course. <clears throat> uh, in a PG diploma, which is a 36 weeks of learning commitment, the first one, first column, uh, in an online class that runs five days a week, uh, again, uh, the full-time graphic design course comes with a placement guarantee. So you get placed with it. That is the guarantee of the course. It's almost like a full year commitment to the course. It's more immersive and experiential. The second approach is to start with the certification of 16 weeks. If you're on the fence, you're thinking about... Um, what is graphic design? Will I be able to do it in an online space? All the things that you might be thinking about, then probably you pick the part-time graphic design course. Uh, here, the classes occurs twice a day. So you will have these classes on Mondays and Thursday. And the prime feature for this <clears throat> part-time course is if you're working during the day or if you have classes, you're studying something during the day, then in the evening, we have these classes. So the classes happen post 7.30. Uh, in addition to all of this, you have placement support. So just be mindful in the part-time graphic design uh, course, you have placement support in the 16 weeks of certification. Um, again, here you can add a stack of another 16 weeks uh, and you'll get a diploma. If you add another 16 weeks, uh, that will give you a PG diploma. So first 16 weeks is the certificate. The second 16 weeks is the diploma. And the third 16 weeks is the PG diploma. So this flexibility, right, allows you to exit the course uh, after every successful completion of the 16 week. It should not be like you 
um, you, you're not here, uh, you're not attending classes, you're not submitting work and you, you seek the certificate after 16 weeks. Um, those are some criteria to meet before you become um, successfully uh, moving into different terms, different certifications and uh, other things. All right. So moving on, another uh, feature of the course is uh, the stackability that we spoke about. But how do you make the incremental growth in learning graphic design? Uh, so you can see on your screen that you start with the first 16 weeks. Again, the foundation is the one entry point to learning graphic design. And then what you can do is you can advance and fine tune the direction of learning with us, um, either by opting for a diploma in UI or diploma in GD. Uh, again, some of you uh, <clears throat> who are not sure can start with the first 16 week and then probably move into the direction that they feel like. Uh, again, as, as a, I think as an instructor, this is again a teacher coming out uh, in the webinar that be mindful of the time uh, that you commit to the course. Uh, this is not a free course. So time commitment is very important. Attending live session is really important. Uh, with the, each stack, with each 16 weeks, your commitment is bound by that 16 weeks. Uh, and then you, you have multiple exit rounds. Uh, so further, if you wish to continue learning with us, you have one year of PG diploma in UX UI. And if you pick the 16 more weeks, which is the last level, you get a PG diploma in GD. So do the simple maths before, you know, inquire from the admission team or inquire any of our people. All right. So with that, we are closing our webinars um, a little delayed, but uh, this is the number of weeks for each stack and this is the cost. Uh, more on that will be elaborated later, but the timing of the classes, the other course that we offer all are here. Um, take a minute or so and then you can start popping your question in the question and A block. Like you've got that feature, a button there. Use that to ask us question and we'll start answering them in a minute. Thank you for your presentation, Nidhi. Um, so yeah, we are beginning the Q&A session. I see some questions have already rolled in. So we'll uh, get straight to it. If you have any other questions, as Nidhi said, please put them in the Q&A box. Um, Somebody is asking, what are the tools we would be learning in part-time and as a beginner online? How deeply we can learn? What will be the mode of practice? Interested to know about the undergraduate placements with a career gap. Wow. Uh, that's a question. Long question. Okay. So one bit at a time. So I think what are the tools we would be learning in a part-time? Uh, in the part-time course, we start with the first 16 week with Illustrator and Photoshop. The prime focus is on Illustrator. That will help you in sort of building those ideas on a digital space. And then Photoshop as an add-on to that. Uh, that is for the beginner. Uh, how deeply we can learn, it completely is subjective. It depends on your own commitment. Uh, we'll provide you the level of uh, topics that we have built within the course. And then learning in depth, asking more questions is completely on you. Uh, what will be the mode of practice? Um, start with a simple sketchbook and a pencil, and then you can move on to, you know, digitizing all of that. Uh, during your orientation and during Q&A session, we do provide you the tools, uh, specifically the computer configuration that is required for a learner uh, of graphic design. Uh, but yeah, more to that. Um, but you should have a graphic card in your system. Uh, also, you've written, interested to know about undergrad placement with career gap. Um, I think with career gap, we do provide this certification. So you can start with the 16 week if you are on a career gap, um, uh, and with undergrad placement, I think with 16 weeks, we provide you placement support. We don't provide you a guarantee, right? Um, uh, and in that case, our career team will be the best people to answer that for you. Uh, so I hope that answers, uh, uh, your questions. Um, okay, so the next comment is, I don't have great sketching skills. I'm starting to learn sketching and drawing locally very recently. How good a sketcher do we have to be as a beginner? I think when you you describe yourself as a beginner, that's a good start. So don't have to worry about it. It's good that you're practicing at your end. Um, 
yeah and mansi please look at the course fee structure here on the screen if you have questions regarding that um somebody is asking what is the difference between a full time and a part time course okay so that is himanshu okay uh so himanshu the full time course is a more immersive course and as we had shown earlier it's 5 days a week so monday till friday you have commitment in terms of your learning and in the part time course a part time course happen mondays and thursday we teach you topics across those two courses but the fundamental difference is you're regularly uh, putting water to a plant and you twice a week you're putting water to the plant so that is how your plant will grow your brain will grow in graphic design so i hope himanshu we have answered your question if that's the same himanshu we know um mohammed is asking will and help me in setting up gigs on platforms such as uh, fiber and upwork what is the probability of getting projects from foreign clients uh so uh mohammed we don't guarantee right right now our only guarantee is to teach you design there is no guarantee or there is no promise on the website what we are saying right now in our presentation that we'll get you a job all is dependent on your hard work your commitment to the course what we sort of promise is quality education and design that's what we give provide our learner uh getting a job getting a freelance work via fiverr and upwork is completely on you uh, that's not our promise yeah however to add on to what uh, nidhi has just said the courses that come with a job guarantee also include placement assistance or career support uh, which uh, is integrated into the course through which we will not through freelance projects but through a studio or through an organization that requires a designer we will help you get that job for sure uh, in the courses that we have the job guarantee so yeah yeah Mm. Uh, somebody is asking. I know my question can be a little complicated or so, but I guess I want to do brand identity design, poster design, and magazine design, music poster design, and at last UI design. So, what type of designation would be good for me, and what can be the process to learn all these and get good at them? So, I think uh, you literally listed all the things that we teach. <laughs> so anonymous whoever you are uh, i think start with uh, if you have a lot of time um, and a significant amount of money go for the full time course which allows you to learn all of this in good depth theek okay? hai and if time is in of <coughs> sorry an issue also money then think about the part time course in both those two courses the roots of learning graphic design built within and you get to learn all these things you get to learn brand identity you get to design all uh, uh, for all these modules so each module also requires you to design something there is a final outcome to everything so you will be designing all the things that you've listed uh, yeah yeah <laughs> uh preet is asking if for work reasons i'm not able to continue the 16 week course is it possible for me to take a break and continue again from where i left so preet we uh, like i think uh, we recommend find that 16 week continue 16 week so that you get the benefit out of the course but in case life happens right life happens there is a condition where we allow you to take a pause once in the entire length of the course uh within the 16 weeks i think that is uh, built within the policy of uh, when you are a student at and but my recommendation as a teacher would be to have that 16 week uh, dedicated to do a course and then probably take the break after 16 weeks and then rejoin after maybe a few months or so yeah but breaking the course in between will affect the way you've learned something so yeah that's just a general uh uh response to that anjali is asking how is placement support different than placement guarantee so that's a good question to have so anjali uh, so in placement support you get uh, you get access to a lot of professional development sessions we do a, a linkedin building uh, session over a few weeks we do career play, uh, career 
opportunities and portfolios, portfolio building, resume building, all of that. But we do not, uh, we make you industry ready in those sessions and you are uh, ready to hit the ground uh, running uh, to apply on your own uh, and just like find work. But in the placement guarantee, we also extend support to uh, you in a way that we will also connect you with these organizations that are looking for a designer uh, or whatever role is relevant for you in that uh, case. Uh, and then uh, help you find that job and uh, we'll get you uh, the placement there in the uh, courses that we offer placement guarantee, which is the PG diploma part-time and the PG diploma full-time courses. Um, so yeah, but uh, the guarantee also comes with a small uh, star sign on its top, which is that given you also pro, uh, like, you know, put in equal efforts into uh, learning design and building a portfolio, it's an, it's a two-way street. So if you don't put uh, enough time and attendance and effort into uh, all of your classes and all of your portfolio building sessions, then I think that placement guarantee won't hold true. But if you do what you're required to do, then we, uh, we will hold up our promise and then we'll definitely get you placed in one of the organizations that we have a tie with. Yeah. Uh, Janvi is asking, thank you for this in-depth webinar. It was mentioned that after doing the graphics, we can uh, move to UI UX. Could you explain it further? How does that work? So I'm going to take you back probably to this place. Uh, so Janvi, as we mentioned, we have a stackability built within the course, right? With each stack, specifically with the graphic design uh, stack, you start from the fundamentals in the part-time, not the full-time. There is um, there is something different in terms of uh, how you offer, you start from your journey as a part-time graphic design student. And then you can move into, let's say within the course, you start to like fall into the trap of UX UI. And then you, you want to learn more about it. Uh, so we do have an offer in terms of you can, move in that direction. So that's a path forward for a learner. After completing successfully 16 weeks of the certificate graphic design, you can get a diploma in the next 20 plus weeks by uh, opting for the UI design. Um, and then if in case you have time, more time, you can get uh, a PG diploma in UX UI. Um, so I hope that helps you understand. It's just a pathway. The stackability as a feature is basically the screen that you see in front of you. Uh, what we say as stackability is basically an opportunity for you to uh, design your own course, basically. Uh, it's almost like using these courses, 16 weeks of graphic design and then 20 weeks of uh, UI UX, knowledge to build your own portfolio, your understanding of these disciplines. Um, I hope I've answered your question. Yes. Moving on, Sanya is asking, I'm a beginner with no prior computer skills. Will you be teaching everything from scratch? Uh, Sanya, that's a very difficult question. So I think we are not going to teach you computer skills. Uh, I'm hoping you should have basic computer skills. How you start a computer, how you close a computer, how do you open files? That's really important. Also because we operate on certain digital platforms, uh, which are uh, MS Team, Miro, uh, Canvas, it is important to have at least basic functional understanding of computer in general, as well as certain softwares that run for a graphic designer. Uh, we don't want you to be excellent or even if you're a beginner at Adobe Illustrator, we have an additional feature of teaching your software parallel to the course that you opt for. Uh, but we don't teach you computer or computer related skills, we teach you some software which will help you understanding graphic design concepts. Uh, I think uh, that you have to understand what we offer, where your need sort of matches what we offer. Uh, I, I think you, you can probably reason that out at your end. Okay, so what is the age limit to learn the course and how easy it is to get a part-time job or to freelance? Uh, so again, those the second part to your question is a little subjective. It completely depends on you. There is no age limit to learn the course. I have a student who's uh, in their uh, mid-50s. Um, if you have the will, 
and you have the time and you have the money, please commit to the course, graphic design course. You can start by part-time to see if this is a good fit for your need. And then uh, as Shubhangi has also elaborated on the fact that we have placement support and placement guarantee in two different courses. So with the part-time, you get placement support. Uh, and eventually, probably, you, if you're hardworking enough at whatever age you are, there's no barrier to that entry. Uh, you will get a part-time job or a freelance job, uh, depending on uh, your commitment. Um, all right. So there is Mohammed. Uh, suppose I got a job placement on behalf of and Academy in some good company in India. So will I be able to switch from India to abroad if I feel like to do in the future? Shubhangi, do you want to take that up? Uh, I think, again, this is those subjective sort of questions. Um, we do not guarantee that you'll be able to switch from India to abroad. But if it is one of your goals and you constantly move towards it, I think you'll be able to sort of streamline your goals towards that and to make that switch. Uh, however, um, there is no sort of limitation that comes with and that you will not be able to work with an India or an abroad sort of a, a sort of setup. Uh, design is a universal language and uh, whatever you learn here, you can apply anywhere in the world. So uh, yeah, if you wish to make that switch, I think you'll be able to do that by yourself. Yeah. Uh, can we do an internship along with a 16 week course? Somebody is asking. Yes, our courses are designed for people who are working and also studying or also studying. So if you're willing to do an internship, if you already have something, then yeah, for sure, you can do a 16 week course and also work alongside. Uh, so Sanya is saying that she has a limitation where she cannot attend class for three days in the first week of April. So can she have recorded sessions for the same? So we do provide recorded sessions, but we do not encourage absence from uh, classes. Uh, but I'm not sure where you are on your journey, Sanya. Um, if you've already applied and have enrolled with us, I think you can figure out something with uh, coordinating with the uh, academics team and the student assistance team. Mm. So yeah, that that I think is a very subjective call that we'll have to take eventually. Hmm. Mm, so Tanjali is asking, are we going to get access for the software? No, we do not give any access to any software. The software will have to be procured by you. Hmm. Uh, Mansi is asking, will Canva skills help in the same course? Nidhi, what do you have to say about that? So Mansi, Canva... Um will provide you, I think, a lot of people come with a basic understanding of Canva. Uh, Canva is good at your own end, but for the course and the way the course material is designed, uh, we recommend and we uh, emphasize the use of Illustrator and Photoshop. Those two tools are something that is now used across a lot of design studio. So tomorrow you, when you're working, Illustrator and Photoshop allow you to be a better graphic designer rather than Canva. Canva is good for building uh, layouts and certain quick tasks that one gets to do at their own time and pace. Uh, but our recommendation with the course that you enroll, be it part-time, be it full-time, is Photoshop and Illustrator. And as uh, Subhangi has already mentioned, we do not provide you subscription to any of the software, Adobe uh, or uh, Canva. Uh, you have to get the subscription when you're taking admission with and so just be mindful of that while you are enrolled in any of the courses specifically in the graphic uh, do get a subscription of photoshop in illustrator at least for the first 16 weeks take care uh, other than photoshop and illustrator what other tools will be covered dilip uh, dilip is asking okay so dilip uh, with uh, when you become a student of and uh, we with your email ID, simple email ID, we'll provide you access to MS Team. We'll provide you access to Canvas. Canvas is the learning management software. Uh, and uh, Miro. Miro is where our student collate their work, put their presentation and all of that. So those are the three things that we provide. You don't have to buy access. Just creating a login, uh, creating an account is enough. Uh, but with Photoshop and Illustrator, those are things that you need to get yourself. Yeah. <clears throat> 
uh, Shwetanjali is asking, when does the new batch for part-time graphic design course uh, start? So Swetanjali, our course is uh, starting a month, almost a month from now on, which is the 21st, 21st of March. So yeah, uh, we'll, okay, this is done. Kumuda is asking, can the recordings for the online classes and the material for the course has unlimited access even after 16 weeks? Uh, no, Kumada. Uh, so we do provide you recording and everything and we allow you a good two week time to download and uh, have all of this material that is available to you as a student, as a live student for and eventually you can store it with yourself, but we don't provide you any unlimited access. But once you are in the network of and we do have unlimited supply of links and emails that we'll keep sending to you regarding webinars, regarding guest lectures. We have a lot of guest lectures. We have a lot of, I think, Shubhangi, you would be the best person to elaborate on that feature. One coming up uh, on Design Career and Inner Critic on 20th of uh, Feb with Nishita Mota. So if you if you're wanting to join a webin another webinar or a masterclass about design, uh, we'll send you the link for sure. Yeah. So we keep doing that. And even after your 16 weeks or 32 weeks or 40 weeks, you get uh, access and uh, can take part in these masterclasses and webinars. Okay. So Hamza asks, does the graphic design course offer comprehensive teaching on motion graphics or basics? So Hamza, in the uh, full-time as well as the part-time, I think you've seen one of the projects done by our student, uh, Fame. Uh, we provide you the basics in the initial bit and then we provide you a little, I would not say advanced, we provide you basics and then the intermediary. For advance, I think uh, our course is, it's an online course. And again, we have limited time. So we keep to uh, basics and intermediary. We don't get into the advance. I think something that you can do on your, uh, do at your own uh, pace and sell uh, time. Uh, we do have instructors. So you can definitely bombard them with your questions uh, and then get uh, mentoring by them on a project. Uh, but we don't, the course is not designed for uh, comprehensive teaching on motion graphic. Uh, Avantika is asking, will you guys also teach Figma? Uh, Avantika, for the Figma, I think it's the UX UI uh, course, uh, which is where Figma is inbuilt. The teaching of Figma is inbuilt within the course. Uh, we don't have a separate class for that. Uh, while you are enrolled as a UX UI student, uh, either in the diploma or in the PG diploma, you will have classes uh, within the course to teach you. And there is that... <laughs> Uh, Papiya is asking, do we get to, okay, I think my cat is just, do we she get to, to <laughs> it's very tem like, and it's very enticing for him to be around me right now. I don't know why. Uh, do we get to learn Adobe Premiere Pro or InDesign? Uh, so, uh, Papiya, we do have, uh, InDesign classes as well within the, uh, software session, software track, uh, but in respect to your uh, full-time graphic design course, not in the part-time graphic design course. In the part-time graphic design course, our emphasis because of the time constraint is only on Illustrator and Photoshop. But for the full-time student, InDesign is something that they get to learn while the course is happening. Uh, we don't teach you Premium Pro. Uh, yeah, we do teach you After Effects. Uh, that's a, a software we teach you. We have some questions, Shubhangi, in the chat as well. So do you want... I think those have actually come to the Q&A, this thing, already. Uh, so we have answered all of them. Yeah. So uh, there is one question by Hamza. I think Hamza is the same uh, person that I spoke to, I think, yesterday or day before. How important are sketching skills as a graphic designer? So Hamza... Sketching is really important. You don't have to be an expert again. Even if you're doodling around the corners of your notebook or a newspaper, that's good enough. But you should be fearless when it comes to attempting to sketch. So your first tool before you beat AI is paper, pencil. That's it. Sketch as much as you can uh, without the inhibition of being judged. And then from there on, you can learn Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, AI, whatever is 
in the ambit of uh, learning softwares. But yeah, start with the paper, pencil and sketching. Okay, wonderful. I think we have... Uh, thank okay. you. Uh, thank you for this compliment. Yeah, uh, thank, this. You. yeah I, I, thank you for this because, uh, yeah, this proves that whatever hard work I've done up till now regarding uh, being a teacher is done good enough. Uh, yeah. This profile, if you want to check out, is available on our website. Uh, so you can check it out there if need be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, Muhammad. Uh, I think with that, uh, we've reached the end of this webinar. Thank you, Nidhi, for this wonderful session and showing us uh, great student work as always. It's a it's a great site always. Um, thank you for thank you everyone who stuck around and been patient with us. Uh, I hope you were able to learn something today. And uh, yeah, with that, we will call it tonight. And bye bye everyone. Thanks. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.